Hey guys, Fight Commentary Breakdowns, Jerry and Jerry. Jerry. Hispanic Jerry, Asian Jerry. We saw this really cool technique from Fight Science. Oh. Basically, it's kind of like a joint manipulation. Maybe you can call it a Dumog technique from Filipino martial arts. Basically, it's a way of controlling someone. Yeah. And we were just playing around with it and just having some fun with it. And we wanted to show you some of the things we got out of it. So first, we're gonna show you the video. Baliog Pamali relies on something called a flexion moment imparted to the neck to do damage. An average man's neck can withstand about a 140 foot pound flexion moment. Beyond that, soft tissue and even vertebrae can be crushed. By bringing your weight down fast, this move could easily deliver twice that amount of force. And it wouldn't just end a fight, it could leave your opponent paralyzed or dead. It looks cool, right? I love to do it on people who are kind of just having fun with me, but would I use it in a real fight or something like that? From fight science, we don't get too much on when to use the technique or in what scenario. But based on the animation they showed, I get the idea it's kind of if you're going in for a single leg or a double leg. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's a lot more of a grappling move. And it's one not typically seen in jiu-jitsu or judo or sambo or wrestling. So I think there's a pretty cool traditional martial art technique. Exactly. It's like screamer, right? a lot of, it's a screamer, exactly. A lot of these traditional martial arts say things like, oh yeah, well we have our techniques against the jiu-jitsu, against the judo, against the wrestling. So this would be, like you said, a good technique to test out against the jiu-jitsu and the wrestling. I'm going in for single leg or double leg, very lazy single leg, double leg. For the sake of demonstration, he's the one that's going to apply the technique on me. I go in. So I want to put pressure on his vertebrae, uh -huh. the back of his neck. And yeah. I control his arm. Yep. And I'm making him look that way. Yep. And this this pressure should be enough to stop him in his trap. And when I go down, mm -hmm. the aim is to crush the vertebrae back there. And yeah. Stop any further attempts of him driving forward. Exactly. Or at least to control me enough that I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Shooting in for a single leg. And like that. And so one of the first things that when Jerry and I were playing with this, depending on how quick you do it, right? The first thing I thought was, hey, what if I just remove this arm? And then that way, it's like I can take the back or whatever. I, so it, it didn't feel like having the elbow on here was enough leverage, you see, to, to get me to not respond if I'm not compliant. So that's one thing. And then the other thing, so we had him put a little bit more pressure and so let's say he's, he's going to resist too, so I can't just get this right. So then I'm just going to, you see, I just, I, so instead of trying to put the arm that way, I just establish enough space this way, and then I removed him. Back, back to Jerry's first point. Jerry's pushing my elbow forward, so I don't no longer have that pressure. So it's a simple push. Mm -hmm. But it's easy for me to overcommit mm -hmm. and just yeah. miss his neck entirely. Oh, but look at that. Get it here. I and see. And then I, I'm just in a very bad position here. Jerry could continue to take them. Exactly. If someone is a wrestler, they're going in really yeah. fast, right? Yeah, so, whoa. Power, right? Yeah. And then something we also noticed is maybe what this can do is it's serving as a distraction. We're fighting for this. He's, he's got this position on my neck. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm fighting for this. It gives him now kind of this natural need to hit me in the head. Oh. So like that. Exactly. So maybe what it's doing is it's kind of like a transition. So you guys are fighting. He thinks you guys are fighting for the neck position and then you just give him a knee to their face. And again, closer to the first point about overcommitting, mm -hmm. my focus is two arms on one hand. Yeah. And I'm leaving this whole right side of Jerry open to yeah. whatever he wants. Yeah, exactly. And You're both of his legs are on that side too. So he... <laughs> He could go to town here on one side, mm -hmm. controlling almost none of his body but his shoulder if I do miss the neck. Yeah, exactly. To get you here, yeah. correct forearm position, correct arm. Yeah. Stand up a bit. Uh, yeah. Start some takedown. Yeah, exactly. So let's say I'm going in for double. Yeah. If you did sprawl with this, right? So if like, if, if yeah, that's so. Gonna wreck your neck. <laughs> yeah, it's going to wreck my neck. Exactly. Yeah, that's actually. I'm not going to try it on yeah. you just because of the danger yeah. there, but... So maybe if you sprawled with it, it might... Yeah, that might be... Yeah. Effective. So it's like, it's like a sprawl on top of that. Uh -huh. So I go here, right? I cup this, mm -hmm. and then I turn you this way. Okay. I go down with you. So this is, this is kind of the technique. Do you yeah. feel any pressure? Let's, I'm going to put do, brief. Okay. But um, if I'm going here and you're... Trapping me. Mm -hmm. I wanna. I wanna do. Uh, this is a more tense planet. 
I'm not sure the correct name of the exercise, but I, I call it the break dancing technique. Mm -hmm. Break come out. Ooh, look at that. I so, come out and... Yeah, you take my leverage away. I may compromised here, but I mm -hmm. save my neck. It gets no longer... Yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I have to change my grip now. Yeah, and yeah. I am giving you my back. Uh -huh. I acknowledge that part, but True. again, it, with, with this move, it targets your neck vertebrae in the back. Yeah, you may be giving up your back, but at least you're not dying. <laughs> I see. Dude, that's... Uh, let's do that again. That was really cool. So, you're going for the takedown. I put I put you here. Oh, <laughs> Another one is just hugging the leg, even. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, if... if so, let's say you're coming in... in you I'm back. doing this. this look at that, look at that. Oh my god, he's hugging he, me. I, 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 I save my neck. My neck yeah. has no pressure on it. Yeah. And I could drive. Oh through. my goodness, yeah. Your force is coming into me. I'm going downwards. It's the same thing a lot of Wing Chun people, they're like, oh yeah, I'll do a chain punch downwards while the single leg is coming. Well, you're still getting taken down. Yeah, yeah, sure. the momentum behind Yeah, you. the momentum. You got the momentum. Say, we're just kind of like grabbing each other uh -huh. and I use the technique on you, right? So like you're not taking me down. I'm just using the technique on you and maybe I do what he was he had this oh, thing ooh, this changes things. So like I do this yeah, You can still, you can still scramble. Oh yeah, two more so. yeah, but that does make it a lot more time So yeah, it gives some more time potentially if you're gonna react he has time to react once you get out as a trained or an untrained fighter if you get out of it What are you leaving yourself exposed to like Jerry mentioned earlier a knee? Yeah, like, yeah. I got to get out of the move but I'm getting kneed in the face earlier with the breakdowns. I'm getting out of the move, but I'm giving him my back. Yeah. Mm. So can we really safely get out of this move is key. Yeah, exactly. Because we don't know if the screamer guy may be also frustrated. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the screamer guy also does BJJ. And also, he's only demonstrating one move. What if as you respond to him, he yeah, does another, yeah, another screamer Duma move, yeah. move or something? If the screamer master wants to come on and show yeah. us, how do you transition from that into other things if people respond? We're not like, oh, this move is garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Work, screamer's yeah. garbage. Like, yeah. We're just playing around with the move from our understanding based on the fight science video, which yeah. millions have seen. Yeah, exactly. So people are going to watch fight science be like, oh, that looks like a cool technique to try against a wrestler. They're going to do it and they're going to know, know better than us how to get out of it and how to do it safely. Yeah. So if any screamer guy wants to come on, like I said, we're not bashing the move yeah, or the yeah, art. Exactly. Like I say on this channel, I don't claim to be an expert. I don't even claim to know much. I just like to learn and I just like to examine and have fun. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. So again, not saying this technique doesn't work, not saying a scream it doesn't work. We're just, this is a cool technique. We wanted to try it. If you like this type of video, I do, and I know Jerry does, <laughs> let us know because we want to do more. Now that we have Dollar Mirror Mass. Thank you, Dollar Mirror. Thank you, Dollar Mirror. Thank you a lot. Fight Commentary Breakdowns out.